helping lead any great university is a team of great teachers. And at the University of California, Davis, the greatest are recognized with the annual UC Davis Prize for Undergraduate Teaching and Scholarly Achievement. This year awarded to Professor Randy Dahlgren. Okay. Wow, what's inside? I want my students to see the world a little bit differently as a result of what they learned in my classes. The news broke on April 5th when Dahlgren was interrupted in his classroom with a cake presented by Chancellor Linda Katehi. The UC Davis Prize is funded by philanthropic gifts to the university and managed by the UC Davis Foundation. At $40,000, it's believed to be the nation's largest such award for excellence in undergraduate teaching and highlights the importance this top-ranked university places on its teachers and its students. The purpose of this prize is to say how important we think it is to give students, particularly undergraduates, access to the very best combination of scholarship and teaching ability. Dahlgren is a professor of soil science and biogeoengineering. He's head of the Department of Land, Air and Water Resources. He's recognized as a great scholar and admired by students and faculty alike for his ability to make any topic he covers in class really quite exciting. It has a higher uh, specific heat capacity. It takes more energy to warm water. So you've been in physics, haven't you? Yeah. He cares about, you know, one, teaching and, and, and getting the knowledge across, but making students excited about the stuff that they're working on. I went to a few office hours where he helps out his students, and there'll be like four or five students there, and um, he'll be answering questions about the homework, and he'll help you with the assignment. Randy says his inspiration comes from nature and his enthusiasm from a really good plot of soil. It's a passion that has roots in his childhood. I think early on, having grown up on the farm, I was uh, digging in the dirt from day one, so obviously there was a connection there. You could say his interest really exploded after a visit to Washington's Mount St. Helens while in graduate school. Volcanoes are revered and feared for the devastation that they create, but I look at it as a rejuvenation of the ecosystem. It wasn't until 1989 that his work led him to one of the greatest research institutions in the country, UC Davis, where he stumbled upon another passion, teaching. At that point in time, it was all about research. And uh, quickly, though, once I got into the classroom, uh, yeah, I fell in love with, with teaching. And teaching seemed to agree with him. During the warming periods, the concentrations of CO2 go up. So I love teaching in the classroom, absolutely. But one of the very special things that I'm able to do in my lab is host uh, undergrads looking for part-time job opportunities and internship opportunities. Okay. Like many others, John Baum signed up for one of Randy's classes simply to fulfill an undergraduate requirement, but soon found another reason to tune in. He was so amazingly energetic. It, it kind of reminded me like, uh, of like the kind of teacher like I would like to be. He has a way of framing framing the issue so that every single person feels some kind of connection to it and wants to care about it. Wait a second, wait a second, there you go. And it's that ability to connect and to care that led to Randy's recognition as this year's winner, something Neil Van Alphen calls UC Davis's Nobel Prize for teaching. Randy is an outstanding scholar. And especially I appreciate the fact that he's probably, he leads one of our largest departments and he's an amazing department chair. Dahlgren's teaching talents have been recognized by those outside of the classroom as well. When cattle rancher Russell Rusticci passed away in 2008, he left a generous sum to the university for the creation of two endowed chairs, one of which is held by Dahlgren. Rusticci placed a great deal of importance on education and believed that supporting university research is truly the key to our future. It is through people like Russell and many others that continue to look at education and say, you know what, we've got to continue and, and keep this alive and keep giving the next generation the tools to become the generation of tomorrow. And speaking of tomorrow's generation, well, Randy's hard at work on the home front too. Meet his twin daughters, Erica and Sophia, who clearly share their father's interest in rocks. This stuff right here is from bubbles that popped. It's very shiny because it has lots of mica in it. Mica, lava, soil, but never, we learned, never call it dirt. Don't ever call it dirt, it's soils. First thing he said to me was, 
was, um, we're going to call it soil. Uh, the whole profession, it takes offense at soil being called dirt. <laughs> you go out there and you say, we've got to kick the dirt. <laughs> with Randy, you kick the soil. <laughs> What's the deal with dirt? Dirt. Okay, well, dirt is just soil that's out of place. So if the, if the uh, soil is in your house, you can call it dirt. But in the garden, you got to call it soil. As a self-described realist, Dahlgren doesn't expect to change the world, but hopes to use his role in the classroom to raise awareness of global issues affecting our environment and how we all can make a difference. Yeah, that's the goal. Of course, one person uh, has a hard time making too much impact, but uh, you know, every class of 100 students that goes out there, uh, cumulatively over the years, that might have some impact, certainly. So what defines success for you as a teacher? The success of my students, <laughs> very simply. Teaching has always been the one thing that is the most important thing to him. It's not as common to see somebody with that much talent, see that much enthusiasm for teaching students, particularly at the undergraduate level. A lot of money, a lot of uh, like rewards for doing a lot of good research, but hardly anything for good teaching. And his teaching is what is that's the fun part. The fact that donors are, are excited to support this, uh, I think it means a lot to me personally, but I think it means a lot to anybody that really cares about teaching uh, to have that recognition. Congratulations, Randy. It's very well deserved. Randy, I wanted to thank you so much for all that you've done for me in my past five years here as a student. Randy, I, I can't uh, thank you enough uh, for the relationship uh, and the kindness and gentleness and the education that you've given to Russell. Thank you so much for everything you've done and for the, all the people before me that you've influenced. Mr. Randy Dahlgren, thank you so very much, dude. It's freaking amazing that I'm here, so thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Randy, so much for helping me develop as a person and a scientist. Thank you, Daddy, for teaching me a lot about rocks. Thank you for being a rock star. Randy, you are fantastic. Thank you.